I'm not really sure what's going on with June, but she does not look good. That's Junie. I don't know where Johnny is, but she was just on the ground. What's up guys? It's Amra from the Ramblin' Richardsons and yeah, we got a sick little gecko on our hands. Um, so Sheila is recovering from what looks like stuck on shed after finding her in her cage today while I was on my lunch break. She was bottom of her cage or her enclosure and she wasn't moving she's typically very skittish more than Johnny so when I went over to it, the enclosure and she didn't immediately run away I knew something was wrong when I opened the door and she didn't run away I knew something was wrong when I picked her up which these animals are not animals you pick up they're not for holding they're just display animals I knew something was wrong. And, uh, and she is not looking good, guys. I am worried. She is not climbing. She's usually very skittish. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, so here's a little update on Sheila. You might see that she is looking a little bit better. Her mouth is not so derpy. Um, I'm not sure if you can see uh, right there and back over there. That's some stuck on shed. They're usually really good about getting their own shed off of them. And she usually will eat her own shed. I think it just kind of took her by surprise. But she is moving around much better. You can see she's trying to climb the walls. And I got her rapashi in there. And right below here is Sheila's cage. And Sheila has a heat pad right here. So she's right above the heat pad, so she's getting plenty of heat and ambient heat. Oh, sorry, that was a technical difficulty. She's getting plenty of heat from down below on Sheila's and then ambient heat from out this window over here behind her. There's a window it goes onto our front yard, so she should be plenty warm. Poor little thing. She's had a rough day. You can tell she's breathing a little hard. So I just took a bunch of that shed off. But my goodness, she gave us a scare today. All right, so I cleaned out their enclosure. And there's June. Johnny's right here, being a little ham. I see you, dude. So, June is looking a lot better. I don't think she's safe to go back in here for the time being. I'm going to keep a close eye on her though this evening. Come check in on her. She's still having a little bit of trouble climbing, but she's doing much better. So, we got some rapashi here, some water. Down here, a little water reservoir. They got plenty of new stuff to check out. We're gonna see how June is doing. I'll take you over here. You can see here, stuck on shed. That was stuck on shed. Um, yeah, 
there's some grossness in there. Yeah. And uh, just a little Q-tip here. Just after she'd been in there for a while, got that shed off of her and I think it pretty much saved her life. So we'll see how she does. See if she can gain her strength back. It's been a really stressful day for her. Not being in her enclosure, not being with Johnny. He's still down here being cheeky. I see you, buddy. So, I got the heat lamp going up here. Got their heat lamp. So, nice basking spot little ways down so it won't be too warm she can slowly warm up catch her breath hopefully get some of the other shed on her if there's any more poor thing she's been through it today I hope she doesn't die stuck on shed can kill your geckos um, so Sheila is Recovering from what looks like stuck on shed lizards, reptiles. You gotta watch out for it. And now I keep their enclosure pretty moist. Um, I spray it down several times a day um, with a little spray thing. And uh, I guess she just. I don't know. I don't know. Not typically, it's like wrangling a, a cow in a china store trying to get those two out of their enclosure so it can get cleaned i got her out very easily getting johnny out was no big deal and put him back in and sheila's been hanging out on her hammock she's just trying to recover i think and we're gonna keep an eye on her i'm hoping that she wasn't too traumatized to make it through the night and we'll be fine tomorrow. So we'll have an update in the morning, see how things go. But until then, if God's willing in the creek don't rise, isn't that right? It's Daniel Arms, little quote. We'll see. We'll see if she works out. And I've been meaning to make a post about our other animals you know we do stuff with our dogs all the time and I just posted a video about Sheila my fat tailed gecko and you know, I started this channel kind of because of Frankie my axolotl I wanted to make some videos about him and I just didn't want to pigeon my whole pigeon my whole <laughs> pigeonhole myself into just stuff about axolotls because my whole world doesn't revolve around axolotls I didn't want to be just that channel about axolotls so but we're gonna check up on Sheila in the morning see what's happening so hopefully that'll be what's coming up right after this and if you guys if you like the videos you're seeing please subscribe like the video ring the pardon me ring the notification bell <clears throat> And uh, let me know that you're out there. I appreciate all the subscribers. You know, I've doubled my subscribers in the last month. Went from like 10 to 20, which I appreciate so greatly. So thank you so much for your support. Appreciate it a lot. And I'll keep putting out the content as long as you guys are going to keep watching. But stay tuned. We'll have an update on Sheila in the morning. It's the next morning, and I thought, oh yeah, there's a little tail right there. I thought I saw June bug because Johnny is way up here. I don't know if you can see him, so there's Johnny. I can tell it's him because he doesn't have a notch on his tail. Oh yeah. There she is. See 
we're still kicking it. Luna's still alive. She's just hanging out down here. Which... Not super great, but I'll take it. <laughs> can see from the footage from yesterday June looks like she's doing okay today she's managed to climb up on the glass she's sticking her little feet are sticking to the glass um, and actually Johnny fully shed today I found him and shed was coming off of his tail and our chameleon Duke is actually shedding as well I guess it's just time to shed. So everything looks okay. I did notice that June's sacks on her neck are a little bit bigger than normal. It's gonna mean a couple of things. She may be laying eggs. Never had her lay eggs before, but keep you updated on that. But for time being, looks like she's normal. So I'm glad we got her taken care of for now. But keep everybody updated. Anyways, that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I really appreciate you watching the content, like I said earlier. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.